Mirar Brown realizes that Franklin City is facing bankruptcy due to profligate spending on his part. Brown plots with his chief of staff to raise money for TH. A town budget and his upcoming gubernatorial campaign by shutting down Jellystone Park and opening the land to logging. To save the park, park rangers Smith and Jones, with help from Smith's love interest. Documentary filmmaker Rachel Johnson, hold a centennial festival and fireworks show in an attempt to sell season passes. To sabotage the effort, Brown promises Jones the position of head ranger if the funds are not raised. Two brown bears named Yogi and Boo Boo Bear, who steal picnic baskets from visitors in Jellystone Park while the rangers attempt to hinder them, had promised Smith to stay out of sight during the festival. But Jones convinces them otherwise. The bears try to please the crowd with a water skiing performance, but Yogi inadvertently sets his cape on fire causing fireworks to be launched into the crowd. Who flee in panic. After Jellystone is shut down, Smith is forced to stay in Evergreen Park, a small urban enclave choked with litter and pollution, but not before taking out his frustration on Yogi. Saying that he isn't as smart as he thinks he is. Seeing that their home is in danger of being destroyed, Yogi and Boo Boo travel to Evergreen Park where they and Smith figure out Brown's plan. They all return to Jellystone with Rachel, where they learn that Boo Boo's pet turtle is a rare and endangered species known as a frog-mouthed turtle, meaning that, according to law, the park cannot be destroyed if the turtle is living there. The chief of staff learns about the turtle and sends Jones to kidnap it. On the day that Brown is planning a press conference to begin the destruction of the park, Smith, Rachel and the bears rescue the turtle and try to bring it to the media's attention. Jones, learning that he had been deceived by Mia Brown, has a change of heart and helps the team bring the turtle to the press conference. At the press conference, Rachel reveals that she had installed a hidden camera in Boo Boo's bow tie which had captured Brown admitting to his plan. Smith hooks up the camera to the jumbotron Brown is using for his press conference and shows the video, causing the crowds to grow hostile. Brown tries to claim there is no such thing as an endangered turtle, only for the turtle to appear on stage, revealing his true nature. After Brown and his chief of staff are arrested and convicted for their crimes, Jellystone Park is reappeen. Dean becomes a great success with Smith reappointed as head ranger. He and Rachel admit their feelings for each other. After they kiss, they discover Yogi and Boo Boo are back to stealing picnic baskets once again and chase them.